What does this say? It's forgiveness and letting go. Forgiveness and letting go. Um, and so I want to show you a video. Forgiveness and and then we're going to talk about forgiveness and letting go. Do you guys ever get mad at somebody? Really mad? No. No, never. Me neither. No. Thank you for raising your hand. What happened in this story? I'm here. Bubby got mad. Yeah, he got mad. How come? Because. Do you remember? Because they bumped into each other. Because they bumped into each other. Let's see. Okay. Well, let's see. And then Lucas says the bee was angry because another one ran into them. Okay. And so how did the bee that got run into how did he feel how did both of them feel how did one of them feel and how did another one feel so lucas says bye -bye. one was apologizing and the other one was mad how does that happen to us sometimes no yeah. has that ever happened yeah and lucas says yes it has while the one bee was mad what were the other guys doing Jordan, go ahead. You got your hand raised. Thank you. What were the other bees doing? Having fun. They were just having fun doing their thing. And Lucas said they were doing their daily things, right? And so was his bee, was the one bee being angry hurting them? No. It didn't hurt them that he was angry. Was it hurting him that he was angry? Do you think? No. You don't think it was hurting him that he was angry? Yeah. Well, but he just, it wasn't letting him play with the other bees, though, because he was so mad. But finally, what did he do? What was he able to do that helped him so he could get back with the group of, of friends? Um, I don't know. What was it that he finally did? It's what we're talking about. So then he got rid of all the anger. What helped him get rid of all his anger? Forgive. He forgave. That's right. So when we forgive, then we don't have to, we won't be angry anymore. And if we're mad, it doesn't hurt the other people. It just hurts us more than anything. But you know what? Is it okay to be mad sometimes? It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay to be, we all get angry sometimes. That's part of life. But just know that you don't want to hang on to that anger for too long because then it just hurts you. That's right. Okay. And you know what Jesus said about forgiving? Do you guys have any idea what he said about forgiving? Have you ever heard of this before? Luca, have you ever heard of this before? Well, there, the story is that this guy came to Jesus and said, I have forgiven someone that made me so mad seven times. How many times do I need to forgive him? And Jesus said, 70 times seven. So if he said we need to forgive 70 times seven, then what do you think that means? Luca, what do you think that means? But I was going to say, it doesn't mean 490 times. It means 10 more times, or basically what it means is you have to forgive. We have to forgive over and over and over through life, right? We're never, we always will have to do that because we were going to get upset sometimes. So that's what Jesus said. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you, um, Luca, you know who Buddha is, right? Who's Buddha? Buddha is... Um, he was another great spiritual teacher. Like Jesus was a really great spiritual teacher that we followed. And Buddha had many good spiritual. Yeah, he was kind and all loving, just like Jesus. So what he said, Buddha said that holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. But you are the one who gets burned. So if you ever are really, really, really angry at someone. And it's sometimes it kind of burns you up inside when you're really angry at somebody.
just think about Buddha talking about holding on to the hot coal, how it's burning you, and then you have to let it go. But it's not easy. It's not always easy to forgive. But um, that's when you, if you can't forgive, sometimes it's good to try to, it's good to ask God to help you to forgive because then the power can go in you and sometimes it can help you to let it go. So, okay, so that was what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, Just mentioned something I read this morning. I read an article this morning by a lady and um, magazines and she said that she had an early experience not in childhood but in young adulthood when mm -hmm. someone threatened her life and mm -hmm. um she said you know she spends a lot of time forgiving and she said you know she hopes that that she'll uh someday feel that she has totally forgiven and let it go but she says ever since once in a while it comes back and she has to do the forgiveness again so oh, yeah. we just have yeah. to whenever it comes up and it's still painful you have to work on the forgiveness that's exactly right i've had that myself and that's what he meant by seven times 70 we have to do it over and over because sometimes something will trigger your memory or something so but it releases you when you forgive it doesn't hurt other people when you don't forgive them it releases you so okay let's, let's say our affirmations together and then we'll and then we'll say the prayer of protection we'll close it uh, you guys echo after me. I ask God to help me forgive. I ask God to help me forgive. God's power pushes out any anger and bad feelings. God's power pushes out any anger and bad feelings. My mind relaxes as I forgive. My mind relaxes as I forgive. My heart relaxes as I forgive. My heart relaxes as I forgive. Because... When we don't forgive, then we feel like this, right? Our brain feels like this. Our mind feels like this. And when we can forgive, then it feels like the other guy. And same with our heart. If we don't forgive, our heart feels tied up and icky. And when we do forgive, it, till, it feels happy. So, okay, well, let's say our prayer protection and then let's close it out. You ready? We'll do the we'll do the motions. The light of God surrounds us. I am the light of God. The love of God enfolds us. I am the love of God. The power of God protects, protects us. I am the power of God. The presence of God watches over us. I am the power of God. Wherever I am or we are, God is and all is well. Amen. All right. Well, have a good week, everybody.